Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forms.com. Many individuals use Realtek network interface cards and network adapters. These internal devices allow you to connect to the internet using a LAN or local area network. However, many of these devices go unupdated and I'm going to show you how first to identify your device, second where to go to update it. First we go to Device Manager. We can go there quickly by typing in devmgmt.msc after the start orb is opened and the search uh, takes place. As you can see, uh, we have the Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. We have two of them on board because this is a custom-built system. Typically, uh, good motherboards come with two uh, uh, network uh, slots there for you to be able to uh, run the device as a server, in fact. Um, so you have a uh, connection to the local area network and then a connection to the outbound uh, internet uh, or wide area network. But this, in fact, is a driver that is from January 2011, version 7.40.126.2011. So there has got to be an update since January 2011. We're not going to find one through Windows Update because that's not coming up. And I'm going to show you what site you need to go to in order to download and update these drivers, as well as the process that you need to go to in order to do so. Well, here we are back at our good old Mozilla Firefox, and we're going to go to Windows7Forms.com. Windows the reason I'm using Windows7Forms.com first is because it's an easy way to find updates. If we go to the Downloads dropdown, uh, we can go here and we can go to Software Updates Forum. Under Software Updates Forum, we're going to find a place to find our, our network adapters. And looking here i'm scanning around we have sound drivers graphics drivers but let's type in under the search whoops and we are using by the way a sphinx search which is very good in conjunction with the vbolton software yes realtek pcie network driver update i'll click here this is from february wow has been updated in a while good job ross all right we click on that and we get to a Taiwanese site. This is realtech.com.tw forward slash downloads forward slash whatever. You'll want to go to realtech.com if you want to navigate to this, or you can just find it through windows7forms.com. We're looking at ways to make that download section a little bit more easier to use, by the way. But that took us a couple seconds, didn't it? Now, look, check this out. Look at this. We have Windows 7 and Windows Server. 2008 R2 drivers, and the last update was last month. In fact, it's 9-11 today. Uh, that was from uh, August 3rd, 7.0.46, or 7.046. We're going to go ahead, and we're not going to download it from Hong Kong, that's for damn sure. Let's go try downloading it from the United States on the East Coast and see how long that takes. We definitely want these drivers because certainly uh, they will help us. Okay, we have a pop-up window coming up here. And there we are. Now what we'll want to do is save these drivers. We click OK. And we're going to open up these drivers. We're going to see we're using WinRAR. We are not using the default uh, stuff that comes with uh, that comes with Windows, but uh, WinRAR is a bit of a better program for file extraction and so forth. Other people like 7-Zip. Uh, most people do not like the built-in uh, software. All right, so now we have a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go to Realtek, Driver, we've extracted them, Windows 7. I have 64 bits, so I go there. And look at this, I don't have to run anything. In fact, all I have to do is go back to Device Manager there is no setup program. I right click on the driver and click on update driver software. Browse my computer for driver software. I know that I've stored these drivers on the desktop and I know that I've put them in the Realtek directory. 
So that's why I need to navigate to that location. And I have a whole bunch of junk on my desktop and this is not helping the situation. But I suspect that this is a situation people deal with all the time. Uh, okay, and 64-bit. We go to next. Installing driver software. The, so the, dr the driver software is being installed automatically. There's no setup utility other than the built-in Windows software. And this is taking place right now, and we'll see the difference. Windows has finally finished installing the driver software for this device. All right, so let's go to Properties, take a look. We're using 6, yeah, yeah, we're using a new one. Yeah, that's right, 2011. Remember, January was the date from the original driver. And let's look at the one we have that we're not using. Well, that's still using one from 2009. Let's update that one as well. And yeah, we'll still use the same location. Next. And those drivers have now been updated. We can take advantage of numerous changes that should improve the experience of connectivity. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial video. I hope it was easy to understand. When you download this stuff, you're actually just downloading the files necessary to go into Device Manager which is built into Windows, and update your Realtek network adapters. Thanks for watching once again. This is Mike Farah from Windows7Forms.com. Have a good one.